Hello students, uh, this video is about interfacing a stepper motor using a microcontroller. So this is basically a stepper motor. Uh, as we already have understood, this stepper motor has four uh, stator windings and two, uh, no, I mean permanent rotor. Okay, so for that we require to energize, we named the coil as A, B, C, D coil. So we require four wires to carry the energi energizing values. Similarly, for rotor, we wanted two wires, so we have a two wires, okay? So this is the stepper motor. And we already know that the stepper motor voltage requirements is completely different to that of microcontroller. So we have a driver circuit, stepper motor driver circuit with four amplifiers for each winding. So we have four amplifier circuitry. Now this will be providing the supply to the microcontroller according to the program. As we have seen, the program is energizing each coil at each time and rotating it to left or right depending on the requirement of clockwise and anti-clockwise rotation. So this is the uh, uh, driver kit. So we have to make a connection to this stepper motor and the uh, microcontroller kit. Okay. So first of all, let us make the connection for stepper motor with its driver. Okay. So here you can see the rotor. Uh, the stator and rotor part. So stator wires and rotor wires will connect. You can see here to mark the pin number 1 there is a distance. Okay, 1 to pin number 2 there is a huge distance here. Same wise here on the kit. Okay, we will have to match that likewise. If not the other way around even if you try to put it it doesn't uh, get inserted. Okay, gently push it. Same way here pin number 1 to 2 there is a distance here also you will just gently push it onto the kit. So I have made a connection from the stepper motor to the driver. So to this I want a power supply. Okay, I have the same way here, pin number 1 to 2 at distance is there. Likewise I will make a connection. So this completes the connection for stepper motor. Now this I need to interface to the microcontroller. I am using a FRC. Okay, I will make the connection from microcontroller to a stepper motor. Same way the notches has to be adjusted, inserted so it gets locked properly. This connection to the stepper motor, the other end is connected to the microcontroller. Microcontroller kit. So this gets the complete connection. Likewise, uh, the same way my power jack and RS232 cable, these are connected. So this completes the connection for stepper motor. I have typed the program, saved it as .c and I have also added it to the project. The procedure is same what we have followed uh, earlier cases also. Before going to the execution, I just check ensure that there are no errors. As of now, I do not have any errors there. Now the same tar tar target setting has to be done. Any interfacing, this is a compulsory step. So I'll go to options for target. 11 megahertz frequency, use on chip ROM, go to debug, use keel 51 driver, run to main. I have made the connections already, I mean uh, the changes already, I'll click on OK. I'll just repeat target, 11 megahertz, use on chip ROM here in this window. Next, debug, use keel 51 driver, run to main, click on OK. Okay, now I'll just compile. After settings, compile, build, rebuild. Now once I say debug, the program is transferred to microcontroller ROM. Once I click on run, you can see the motor rotating now. According to the program, I have started with 11 and left shift, the motor is rotating in counterclockwise or anti-clockwise direction. You people can see the motor, the arrow is marked there it which is showing the direction of the rotation. This is anti-clockwise. Suppose I want to change the direction of the motor. What will I do? I will stop the motor first by pressing reset. I will press reset here. The motor is stopped. Stop debugging here. Instead of 11, I will energize coil A first. So it is 88. Instead of left, I will rotate the value to right. Okay, I will save compile, build, rebuild, just ensure the target is correct, yes, this window is also correct, 
your all set is correct i'll just click on okay now i'll click on debug now the program is transferred to rom of microcontroller i will run you can see the motor is now rotating in clockwise direction right so this is the program for stepper motor interface